and welcome to my channel. My name is Itzel and today I am bringing you on another Sunday reset with me. I have been loving making these reset videos. They have been so much fun. I love my Sunday reset routine. I would not give it up for anything. So um, I highly, highly recommend it if you don't already do a weekly reset routine because it really gets you set and ready for the week and you feel so much more prepared and so much more relaxed to get your week started. And so I highly recommend it. But today is going to be a little bit different than my last Sunday reset. I have a few errands to run. I need to go to Target to buy an eyebrow pencil that I'm running out of um, and then also buy some cleaning products for the restroom and see if I can find everything there because I got a gift card from Target for teacher appreciation week from one of my students and so I'm gonna see if I can find that stuff there so I could use my gift card and I also want to go to Ulta because my concealer is running low and I really want a new one but I think I want to switch it up and then I also need a grocery shop and then obviously clean my home that's a big part of my weekly reset I need to clean my home because I love having a clean space for the whole week I also need to plan for for the week because in case you haven't seen my other videos or heard me mention this I am a kindergarten teacher and we have two weeks left of school which is so crazy this is my first year teaching so it's a bittersweet time because I'm gonna miss my kiddos they're my first class ever but I'm also super excited to do all these fun end of the year activities with my kids so I have to get all that stuff ready I usually like to plan my week ahead of time on Friday at work and not bring work home for the weekend but this last week was crazy this is my first year having to pack up a classroom I've been doing it little by little so that it doesn't feel so overwhelming because by the last day of school I need to have everything already and packed up we are going camping for four days um, we're going Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday so there's a lot that is going to be going on this week and so I really want to plan it out and really get ready for that so I'm gonna actually do that right now so let's get started to work on my kids um, certificates for kindergarten so I'm gonna get their certificates ready right now and print them because I have a colored printer at home and I have cardstock here ready to go so I'm gonna do them right now and I'm super excited but I'm so sad that they're leaving I have really really sweet kids so I'm gonna miss them <laughs> it has not even taken me an hour so that's awesome and then I'm gonna print all that out and then I'm gonna head out to start to start my errands <laughs> just so that they're out of my brain and on paper and that way I don't have to worry about it the rest of the day. The first thing I always like to do when I get there is um, create my morning slides and my math slides because that's the first thing we work on in the mornings. I need to create some papers and that should be pretty quick and then prep for math. Before that though I have to go turn some stuff in the office so turn in Oh, I have to decide 
who I'm getting my who I'm giving my last awards to because we have our award ceremony the same day that we have our kindergarten graduation thing. It's really hard to do that. And that's one of the hardest things for me because you want to give everyone an award, but you can't because <laughs> there's limited amounts and you have more kids than opportunities for awards so it's really tough to give that because I wish I could give it to all of them they've all had tremendous growth they come in not even knowing how to hold a pencil sometimes not knowing how to write their name and they leave knowing how to write full sentences multiple sentences so I have a lot of things scheduled for Tuesday so on Monday I really have to make sure I get everything ready for Tuesday so prep for Tuesday because I have a lot of things. I have um, a meeting right after school, so I won't be able to work on anything because right after that meeting, I have an appointment. So I have to leave at contract time to be able to make it to my appointment. And then I have another appointment at 5.30. So I have an appointment at 4.30 and then another appointment at 5.30. My appointment for 4.30 usually takes like 15 minutes, but by the time I get home, it'll be like five so then i have my meeting at 5 30 so that also means i don't have a lot of time to cook so that means i should probably get some stuff ready on monday for tuesday and then this these next two weeks are so crazy because i have like all these fun activities planned like i order like glow sticks because we're gonna have a glow day i order flashlights because we're gonna do forts and read under uh four with flashlights so it's gonna be so fun but um, there's a lot of things to get ready with that stuff but yeah so tomorrow I'm gonna try to get to work early and try to knock some of this stuff out so I'm gonna get going let's do this back from the grocery store and from running all my errands and so I'm gonna give you guys a quick grocery haul and let you guys know what I'm cooking this week one of my meals that I had planned last week was a chorizo skillet which um, I ended up not making because I didn't need to make another meal and so I'm making it this week I'm kind of recreating a skillet that they have at Denny's um, my mom loves Denny's and I would go to Denny's a lot growing up it was like my mom's favorite breakfast place so every almost every Sunday we'd go to Denny's there's this skillet that my dad used to always get and recently when I've gone I've gotten it and it's so so good and so I decided to recreate it for dinner because it I really wanted to plan some easy quick meals and I figured that would be a pretty easy quick meal. And then I didn't have to buy anything for that since it was already something that I had planned for last week. So I have all the ingredients ready. Then I'm going to also make um, like fettuccine alfredo, but I'm not making it with fettuccine, I'm making it with penne sauce. I mean, not penne sauce, with penne pasta because I like making it with whole wheat pasta just like a healthier alternative. I don't know how much healthier it really is, but I like making it with whole grain pasta. And so I buy this instead because the the grocery stores around me, like I've tried at multiples, they don't sell fettuccine, whole wheat, like, or whole, whole grain. I already had the sauce, so I didn't buy the sauce. Uh, and then we love to eat it with some um, salad so I just bought some spring mix we love eating spring mix salad with just lemon and garlic salt it's so 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 good like we eat tons of it and then I bought some chicken 
some boneless skinless chicken thighs and so I'm going to use this for that usually I have leftovers um, whatever I have leftover I'll figure something else to make with it for lunch or something I like to season it with um, Cajun sauce the Cajun seasoning flavor with the Alfredo sauce it's actually really really good so I always make it with Cajun seasoning and then for an easy quick meal, especially for this crazy Tuesday that I have, I'm going to be making tacos. I really wanted something quick and easy to make, so I bought some taco meat, then I just bought onion and cilantro to cut up and put on top. I bought some avocado to add to that too, and some lemon, because I always have to have lemon. I love putting it in my tacos too. My husband thinks that's so weird, but I love it in my tacos. I love it in everything. And for the tacos, I decided to try these 25 calorie um, tortillas I don't I don't know how much better they are than regular tortillas I don't know it just makes me feel healthier so I got these and then um, I do want to check out the other ones and see if there's really that big of a difference in the tortillas but maybe there is I don't know I should check I'm gonna put the rest of the groceries away and then I will show you guys what I got at Target and Ulta All right, so now for what I got at Target. Uh, first, I got a fabric softener, one that is for sensitive skin. I got this um, daily shower spray. I don't know about this specific brand, but I've heard of daily shower sprays in general. And they say they're great between like washes or between cleaning your shower. And so I thought I'd give it a try. I don't know if you guys have ever tried something like this let me know if it's worked for you I also got some bowl cleaner because I was using I think it's Comet like the powder stuff and I mean it works but I think I really want something specifically for the toilet and so I got this then I also got these um, scrubbing bubble drop-ins I've gotten some of these before not this specific brand and then I got this shirt I got this shirt I've been loving these kinds of shirts for summer um, I got some last year at Kohl's different colors and I love them and then I just got a waterproof mascara the sky high I got a lip scrub because my lips have been feeling so weird lately like they're so dry you know they say sometimes it's because you're not drinking enough water and I definitely have not been drinking as much water as I usually do I feel like I just kind of forget about it and then I come home and my water bottle is still pretty full and I'm like oh I didn't drink a lot of water today and it's hard to drink water as a teacher because you don't want to have to use the restroom because that's another issue you constantly have to hold it because you can't just leave the kids to use the restroom then i bought my trusty um eyebrow pencil um i've used this for years the cover girl um in rich brown the easy breezy brow micro fine and and define pencil crayon so i love this one this is all i use and then at ulta I spent too much money at Ulta. I hardly buy makeup. I don't go to Ulta often. So I was excited to go and I knew I wanted to splurge on something good, but I didn't expect to spend this much. So I bought the Fenty Beauty um, concealer. The, uh, I just asked a girl, a girl that was there, um, one of the people that works there, which one she recommended. I bought that concealer <laughs> and then I also bought a setting powder because I have a loose setting powder and she was saying that that one could dry out a little bit more and so she told me to use a pressed powder setting powder and so I'm going to try it out. She told me I have like 60 days to try it and then I could return it which is awesome. I'm really bad at returning stuff but I mean if it doesn't work I should return it. She also recommended for me to get one of these to be able to apply it so I just went with it and I'm gonna try it out and see if I like it I hope I do because I don't like returning stuff so that's it I'm gonna put all this stuff away first washing cycle is done so I'm gonna start putting stuff to dry and then I'm gonna do another 
cycle and I'm gonna wash all my towels and my curtain for the shower because I'm going to clean the shower today so I'm going to get started on that I just need one conversation baby boy So my husband came back from running his errands and decided to go out and eat. I didn't get to finish cleaning the shower in the restroom before we left. So I'm going to finish that right now and I changed to my outfit because I learned the hard way that you should change your clothes into clothes that you don't care to maybe mess up when you're working with things that have bleach and I am working with things that have bleach when I'm cleaning the restroom so I want to make sure that I'm wearing something that is either already ruined like this one I love this outfit but it's already stained with bleach so I don't care too much so this is what I like to use to clean the shower and it is one of my favorite tools it has been a game changer for me because I do not enjoy cleaning the shower it's a lot of work and a lot of scrubbing and stuff so I bought this to make it easier and it definitely has I want this forever, can you be my girl? I want you 
to know you're my whole damn world. 